government officials are preparing for potential violence in the Capitol and nationwide after the leak of that Supreme Court draft opinion that would strike down Roe v. Wade after 50 years. Capitol Police are warning the far right is calling for violence against a religious group planning to rally for abortion rights. Whitney Wild is live outside the Supreme Court. Listen, seeing fences go up there, uh, it's sort of like post-January 6th. What are you seeing and, and what specific intelligence is warring if it, police officials? Well, at this point, law enforcement sources, several of them tell us that they are closely monitoring social media chatter uh, that suggests that there's a potential for violence against abortion clinic providers, abortion clinic staff, members of the judiciary. That would include the justices here, uh, as well as members of the federal government. And what we know after January 6th and what law enforcement knows across the country is that social media chatter can manifest into actual violence. Sometimes people really do say what they're going to do. Uh, law enforcement acutely aware of that possibility and federal law enforcement officials held a call with about 150 participants all across the country to warn them about uh, protests that resulted in confrontations about the possibility of future demonstrations as well as for the potential for violence uh, so that's what's going on across the country here in washington there is physical proof that law enforcement officials and officials uh, congressional officials supreme court officials here are concerned about the potential that protests could erupt just take a look at this fence behind me i'm about five six. This fence is a couple feet higher than me. You've seen this fence many times. It is the same fence that went up around the Capitol following January 6th. This kind of approach has become somewhat of muscle memory here in Washington following the riot. Uh, also down the street, you see a concrete barrier also going up over the last couple of days. Jim, the bottom line here is that while these protests, for the most part, have been, uh, have, you know, here in Washington at least, have been peaceful, there have been a couple confrontations, but no physical eruptions. Uh, no real uh, serious acts of violence here because police were able to intervene. They're very concerned about it. MPD keeping some of those uh, police resources at least through Sunday. Back to you. Whitney Wilde with the latest course. Whitney, thank you.